I've been watching a lot of stuff on Criterion Channel, and recently I watched Design for Living, which is a pre-code era uh, romantic comedy about a woman and two men who are kind of not necessarily vying for her attention, but they basically they basically get into a gentleman's agreement, quote unquote, uh, where they kind of share her in a sense. So it's kind of a thruple romantic comedy, and it's pretty good. It's it's very good, in fact. It's um, kind of it's interesting because it's predicated on the the drama and comedy is predicated on the banter between the among the three characters and what i really like about it is that because it's a pre-code movie like there's a lot of things that they can kind of get away with in terms of risque stuff and subject matter and by extension um, the the main the main character she is kind of the driving force of of the of the whole movie and the drama and she kind of takes charge she has this level of um, uh, intimacy with the with the men while also being a very big part of their personal and professional lives and trying to she's basically taking charge of the relationship and of course since it's about you know romance and romantic comedy there is a lot of uh, things that come about that don't necessarily um, uh, work together or like some feelings get hurt, basically. So there's a dramatic pull to the movie that I thought was really well done. Um, I really liked it. It's designed for living. I saw it on Criterion Channel. Uh, definitely recommend it. And you can follow me on Letterboxd at Obsessive Viewer and check out my podcast, The Obsessive Viewer Podcast, which can be found everywhere podcasts are found and at ObsessiveViewer.com.